okay i do this layer really really quick okay i want the tree here so i just put it like this here i have the tree okay here i have the grass really really quick it's good to put your brush like this it will uh, activate your right hand your right hand is here really really thin really really quick you see that i have places with light on it so i don't get into it now i just put the big masses and the central focal point i'm not going to paint them now really really detailed right just to mark them i'm just going to put him like this like this and her like this and like this okay it's just a mark just to say okay here they are going to be okay for me all of them they are okay i need to take this up never mind and with oil you can always change you can always move everything okay In here i have more like you see that you have the green here and you have the green over there really really far which one you think has more blue in it the far one right this is something that relates to perspective things that are getting farther away from me they are getting cooler like more blue and lighter okay look at the mountain there you see the mountain you see that it's really really light and although all of these are green it should be green but you see that there is no yellow there is no red it's just blue you see? And you see how light it is okay so you always want to compare the far uh, objects to the narrow, narrow, uh, near objects okay yes okay so i do this i have here really really quick and I have all of this is the leaves really really quick do you see okay you also want to create in your painting like a story that it has eye magnet that you have like a, a spiral okay not just linear Okay, this will help you to create, to remember it better. Now I know what I have here. Okay, now if things will change, I know how it looked like. Okay, you see that I don't have here any red in it, so I don't like it like this. Let's put here a bit light. Here I will have some light. It's just footprints, okay? And if I want some red, I can paint the, the woman over there or I can just put a bit red here with the brown, like on the meadow, okay? The second layer, I did it really quick. <laughs> the second layer is more detailed, okay? and it should be with thick layer okay a lot of paint now you will mix more like bunch of paints not like this really thin okay and let's 
show you, for example, the track, and then you will start. Do you have any questions? Okay, so for example, the trunk, I want to start, it's a bit greenish, so I, I add to it the medium fat. Okay, and I use a lot of paint. Now I do it uh, really, really messy to finish with this. And I look, where is the light and where is the shadow? If I see shadow, it's always good to start with the shadow, okay, and then to the light because the shadows are um, transparent and the light is opaque, okay. And here I see like this. I just look for it, where is light and where is shadow, and I just go over this. It's really good for the beginning to have a brush for the light and a brush for the shadow, okay. With trees, when it comes here, it's more darker than on the top, okay? But I don't... Okay? And this is how I go from one thing to another. Slowly, slowly, I fill all my painting, okay? It's good to start with the central focal point and then all the other things get looser and looser, just like a focus on your camera, okay? Do you have any questions? So let's start yours. So if you already decided what you are going to paint, try to look this 